The first trailer for the upcoming sequel, Independence Day Resurgence, hit the web yesterday. Using recovered alien technology, the nations of Earth have collaborated on an immense defense program to protect the planet. But nothing can prepare us for the aliens' advanced and unprecedented force. Only the ingenuity of a few brave men and women can bring our world back from the brink of extinction. Mark, do you buy or sell the first trailer for Independence Day Resurgence? Natasha, I'm going to buy it. I'm excited to get back up there and whoop et ass again i love watching this trailer was it silly was it ridiculous yeah had you seen the first independence day it's the same thing you're not touching some magical lore this isn't lord of the rings where we're going back and fixing stuff it's independence day it's supposed to have this tone i love watching this trailer you know who i didn't miss will smith didn't care about him at all because i love seeing gold bloom back i love that they played uh, the president's speech from the first independence day in a different kind of tone it was very luke skywalkery in the second star wars trailer you see an older bill pullman they're talking about what happened they knew this day was going to come and man that ship is bigger than the last time we saw it yeah i have been kind of i've been looking forward to this movie i think especially the way they described it i think there's a lot of potential there didn't know what i'd get out of the first trailer i loved it i i, I love the first trailer and seeing gold bloom back and seeing um oh who's the guy who plays the president dave bill pullman, bill pullman. Uh, he looks Lone great star. and he's got the he's got the cane there to try to make him look even older <laughs> than he is i guess i thought it looked exactly the way if you had asked me how should this trailer look after reading the synopsis this is the trailer i would have painted and i want to know i want to know what unicorn blood is judd hirsch drinking <laughs> because judd hirsch who you see on that boat for a minute right. looks younger yeah. than he did 20 years ago. How? How does he look? Unicorn that? blood. <laughs> Unicorn blood. I think blood. him Unicorn and Steve blood. Martin have an apartment yeah. together where yeah. all they do is hang out and not age. Like right. his son looks older than he does now. Like think, that yeah. is crazy. They found the unicorn and they're gently milking it every day. And they drink unicorn milk. That's what it must be. Yeah, you you got to gently. You yeah, can't you, tug on a yeah, unicorn. Keep it all. It's got to be happy. Yeah. It's a rainbow creature. You have to keep it happy. Schnepp, you have not been looking forward to Independence Day 2, but you saw the trailer. Yeah. What are your thoughts on the trailer? Oh, boy. Oh, I sell this trailer oh. hard. <laughs> oh. Where did all this cheese come from is all I could say. It's like, <laughs> man, you know what? I saw Independence Day. It was called Independence Day. I don't need to see this movie again. <laughs> and this isn't like old home week. Like for me, it's seeing Star Wars, The Force Awakens, and seeing Han Solo, that meant something. I, seeing Judd Hirsch and Bill Pullman and Jeff Goldblum, it's like I'm glad they got a paycheck. I don't care about the big shadow coming over. It's a, it just feels like bad old home week to me like hey let's do that thing again that happened again again it's like you know i didn't like it at all and if they called it independence for independent id forever i might have liked it a little bit more just because it would keep that <laughs> extra cheese that i was hoping was like dripped all over it but instead it just feels like a lukewarm remake Krampus has cold yeah, and hardened I think, your heart. I think the guy who wrote Krampus had something to do with this. <laughs> you know, like he sprinkled some of his like horrible 80s crimp crimping on it or something. I don't know. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.